question is how HBS Howard Business School study was there, professor was there, class students were there, and he asked the student what are the criteria for a good leader and good entrepreneur. Not many points were coming, and there someone is telling vision, someone was telling time manager, something. One student said, sir, it is a luck. Then he had a question, how many of you think luck is required to become the best leader or best entrepreneur? More than 90% student, they raised their hand. 10% they had not raised their hand. Then he said, both of you are right. Then the students were confused, how both could be right? Then professor continued. Friends, luck is a meeting point where your awareness meets the opportunities passing by. Friends, our friends who are successful entrepreneurs, the time they see the opportunity, they grab the opportunity and they become successful. The time they become successful, other entrepreneurs who are not successful call these successful entrepreneurs as lucky entrepreneurs or lucky leaders. So here luck is a, your meeting point where your awareness must meet the opportunity passing by. Friends, once again, I like to express my gratitude, Sri Venkagaru, for giving his most valuable time to all of us this day. He believes that woods are lovely, dark and deep. Woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises, promises to keep, miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. And we could meet him. And you see the photographs. His smiling is captivating smile. He's a very simple person with a captivating smile. Sir, two lines on that. Sir, aap yuhi haste rahe, aap yuhi haste rahe, aap yuhi muskurate rahe, pyaar ke moti, pyaar ke moti yuhi lutate rahe, pyaar ke moti yuhi lutate rahe. Ab Hindustan mein, ab Hindustan mein kabhi na hoga andhera, ab Hindustan mein kabhi na hoga andhera, aapke vision se, aapke vision se, Narend Modi ji ke vision se, Hindustan hamesha jagmagata rahe, Hindustan hamesha jagmagata rahe. Can I request all of you to give a big loud of applause to our chief guest of this day. Friend, thank you very much. Good luck and goodbye. Thank you, Shekhar, sir. So uh, may I now request our Honorable Union Minister for Urban Development, Housing and Urban Poverty Elevation and Parliamentary Affairs, Government of India, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu Garu, to address the gathering. Sri Anil Reddy, President of Spread of CE, and also Sri Sekhar Agarwalji, Chairman of the Excellence Award Committee, Sri Ravindra Modi, Senior Vice President, Justice Bhaskar Rao Garu, Justice Rangarajan Garu, past presidents who are all familiar personalities in the state. Awardees who have been selected for these awards and other dignitaries, brothers and sisters. I'm extremely happy today to be at Miss You because uh, I feel that I'm meeting one important uh, segment of the society who are contributing to the wealth of the country. There are uh, people in politics who always condemn businessmen in the morning and do business with them in the evening. <laughs> and, but me and my party do not believe in that. So people used to call my party also a business party. And even in parliament also, they try to paint uh, Modi ji, Narendra Modi ji, as if he's pro-business, pro-industry. If you are pro-Pakistan or pro-China, there can be something wrong. But if you are pro-business and pro-industry, what is wrong in that, I am not able to understand. <laughs> because business and industry are not the enemies of the nation. And without business, you cannot create wealth. Without wealth, you cannot distribute the wealth. In Telugu also, there is a saying, Panchala, Panchala, ante, Pampani Cheyal, ante, Panchadani Gumundu, Panchala. Panchakonda Panchade, Panchamatra Migultundi. <laughs> So you have to create wealth. Industry can create that. Businessmen can create that. And it is the duty of any government to encourage industry and businessmen in the larger interest of the country. Industry and agriculture are like two eyes of a human being. None, none can be ignored this way or that way. So friends, uh, keeping that in mind, uh, I feel it's a privilege to be here this morning in the 
function for uh, giving awards to people who have shown some excellency. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of them. Yavarayte Asamana Pratibha Visesharu Karaparichi Iwala I Gauravani Puruskara Nandukunnaro Valandariki Nana Hurdaya Purakanga Abhinandana Tirajasthona. For a country to travel in a growth trajectory, manufacturing sector is very important. Industrialize or perish is becoming a new mantra now. The Federation of Commerce and Industry play an important role in transforming India into a manufacturing hub. Because the Prime Minister wants to transform India. If you see this uh, Niti Ayoga, which is converted from the Planning Commission, name is Niti. Niti, N-I-T-I. People have not really read the meaning of Niti. National Institute for Transformation of India. That is Niti. That is the Niti of this government, transformation. So the government believes in uh, ref reform, perform, and transform. That's the mantra of this government. Because we want to see that India reaches its potential. That's why Narendra Modi want to unleash the force of growth, which were unleashed earlier by Sri Adar Bihari Vajpayee, wherein any was Prime Minister, he brought air connectivity, rail connectivity, highway connectivity, rural connectivity, tele connectivity, television connectivity, port connectivity, political connectivity brought together. 23 parties, he brought them together. And also the Chennai to Karkata, Karkata to Delhi, Delhi to Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Kanyakumari, four way, highway. Pachas sal me ek way, neto no way, panch sal me char way, highway, Nirman karke de kaya. Or Gam Gam Tak Damber Road ka Nirman Kaneka Kambi Hat Ne the Avon. He has taken up the program, most innovative program of rural road connectivity. If there is no road to the village, there is no development to the village. Without road, nobody goes to the village. If there is no road, no VDO, BDO, DDO, EDO, character, doctor, actor, tractor, nothing goes to the village. So you need a, a road connectivity also. He brought the road connectivity, rail connectivity, highway connectivity, tele connectivity, television connectivity. See how many televisions are there. The FAPC has become small for this television people. Number is very high. In those days, 50 days, 50 years old, one television, Dora Darshan, Dora Se Darshan karna, black and white dekhana. Ya, for you guys, man, this is okay. Dora Darshan, black and white, just couldn't hold on there anymore. Can you wala? A Vajpayee guy, just couldn't throw one of these little, one of the rare television channels. You know, so chappar, like a chappar, one custom, E T V niche, Ma T V niche, Me T V the niche, or the niche, science or that. RTV, ETV, ATV, any pair of Chapalem, Antagora, Ajitaku, Kaltaku, Sidi Batu, Ulti Batu, Neto, Kudapana Bat. In the channel, they saw the airport. Alagay, Telecom Revolution Ocean, IT Revolution Ocean, IT Valna, they saw a car, under duty of cherry, they sent a mighty Gataya Jesse, but Sektimanto and they sent a bar, they sent Taya Jesse. Madre Gram Ocean, Purmala Modi Garu Chestuna Prayatno and Tony Partha Jesse Prajalo. Nibudi Krutoin and Deca, Tirivi theatre, no Sana Betti, Valak section in Chief, Prosa in Chief, Desa like a poor Tisikini, Avish Karinchi, Tadwara, Desolo, Anni Pranta la Prajalu, Anni Vargala Prajalu, Kalisika Tuga, Sukanga, Sahajiwan of Sagin Sala, Sobhaganga, Nelson Salani, Pradana Matreku Desu, Sabka Sat, Sabka Vikas and Japan. Then Koso and Japan, you want a Provoto, he prayed on a Justundi, he prayed on the Federation at Tondo, he is placed a Catholic. Catalytic role in policy making. You meet people, you represent your views, and then you influence also sometimes representing business and industry in government bodies, providing a platform for businessmen for discussion and also interaction and also working with the government to resolve the problems. These are all the activities of uh, the federations. I'm happy that the FAPC now has become FAPC is doing this job wonderfully, and you are going to enter the centenary year. My congratulations before to all of you. Now we have two states. We have two states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. We have divided the state for administrative convenience and speeder development, not for anything else. Kalasi karahinch kore dhani karna, vidipoi sahakarinch kore minna. Ani uddesho nto, rondo rastar ga air padi, terugu vadu, oka Andhra Pradesh oka Telangana air padi. And the one you don't do good at Kelsey Panjas at Kosra and Tondi, Mir Manchi Marga and Supicharu, Iterugu, Rasta and Teka, Andhra Pareshu, Telangana, you don't do good at Desolo, leading states. 
driving India's economy. They contribute to 8.17% of, of India's GDP. <laughs> Many important public sectors are there, Bharat Heavy Electrical, Bharat Electronics Limited. So many things were established after the independence also. Now, Hyderabad is a brand name in the entire world. Andhra also getting all the investments because there is a brand chief minister for that state also. So the, both the governments of Telangana and Andhra, they are also working hard. They are trying to take the respect to states forward because these people here in these two states are forward-looking people, entrepreneuring people. You go to anywhere in the country, all road works, all PWD works, all important uh, hospitality works are all done by Tirugu people. They may be from Telangana or they may be from Andhra Pradesh. That uh, entrepreneurship is there. If you look at uh, Gujarat, then Punjab, and then this, this part of uh, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh also, they excel everywhere. They excel everywhere. So friends, uh, see, now the Andhra and Telangana are also preparing growth, crafting careers, and also creating wealth through a potent mix of resource and skill-oriented and technology knowledge-based products of services. They are also among the most technological savvy states in India with a tradition of employing technology across various sectors in the country. The two Telugu states have a supportive ecosystem that has transformed them into a prominent hub in the global industrial landscape also. Their entrepreneurial spirit and innovation and R&D has been recognized world over. Its rich natural resources, proactive policies, talented workforce, and strong economy have propelled the states to become preferred investment destination in diverse sectors like automobile, IT, food processing, healthcare. Both have bright future. Now the pharmaceutical sector has got a bright future and then the Telangana and Andhra they are the leading rights in that sector also. Even if you go worldwide, you go to America, take 10 doctors, top. Out of 10, half of them will be from India. And out of 5, half of them will be Telugu fellows. That's the, everywhere. Even in the IT also, you go to Silicon Valley, you find a lot of uh, Telugu boys and girls there working everywhere. And now you have Nadella Satya, you have Indira Anu, you, you have so, so many people, Indian origin people occupying important uh, international institutions because the talent is there, the knowledge is there, the inherent strength is there. We have to give them only a helping hand. That's what the government is aiming to do. Friends, uh, today, if you want to become a developed in economy, you have, to, you have to work hard. And secondary, you simply working hard will not, will not suffice, or creating wealth will not suffice. You have to work for poverty alleviation. You have to eliminate poverty ultimately. Otherwise, you cannot call yourself as a developed country or a developed nation or a welfare nation. So we have to commit ourselves to the goal of poverty elimination. This is the priority of our government. To my mind, a lasting solution to the problem of poverty and inequality is generation of gainful employment opportunities. You set up industries, then you provide employment. You set up business, then you provide employment. That employment empowers the people. That ends the poverty also. That has to be understood. Otherwise, some people feel with these business people are going to becoming rich and all. Okay, business people become rich. They are also making country also richer. That we have to understand that. And then parliament, our friends, uh, opponents, some of them, they could not digest the emergence of Narendra Modi, the great leader. They started saying, this government is pro-industry, Modi, Anil, uh, Adani, Ambani, hi, hi. That was the slogan. I got so irritated. I said, why are you talking like this? Pradhan Mantri ko, Anil, Ambani, Adani ke saath zodna. So then I got irritated in my own way. I gave them back and saying, Adani, Ambani, aapka meherbani hai. Pachas saal se aapne raj kiya hai. They ruled the country for more than 50 years. Adani and Ambani, the age is not one and a half years. Narendra Modi is one and a half years. Whereas Adani and Ambani, they are more than 50 years. So when you, when you make criticism also, you must have some upper chamber. Without that, if you make criticism, then it will not go to any chamber. Friends, so keeping that in mind, the, the, the government intend to tap the potential. And government want to fill state ease of doing business in the larger interest of the country. And the ultimate aim is to eliminate poverty, to end inequalities, to provide opportunities, to reach the man in the last mile. That is the objective of this government. 
For that, PM is coming with so many ideas. He has started a program, Miss CDC. Miss CDC is the name given by me. Program is given by the Honorable Prime Minister. Miss CDC, MI, Make in India. SI, Skill India. DI, Digital India. CI, Clean India. That is Miss CDC. All these programs are aimed at empowering the nation, people, or particularly our youngsters. So we have a fortune of having a skilled force. We have human resource. We can supply human resource to the entire world. Yesterday night, some of you might have heard David Cameron was saying the day may come when a British Indian will become Prime Minister of uh, England. You see the, see the, see the, see the, now in Canada, four ministers of Indian origin are ministers in Canada, in the Canadian cabinet, Sardar Jis. And you see America also, Indians are now slowly becoming governors, they are likely becoming senators and all. In India, because you have human resource and you can go around the country, you can influence global politics also. Yesterday, see the scene at uh, that Wembley Stadium, 70,000 people. There's something unheard. Because the, unlike India, in foreign countries, people do not come for rallies. They look at the TV. I, one, I remember one day I went to America sometime back in 1991 as an young political activist. Then they told us, today evening we are taking you for a big rally. I was so excited because I grew through rallies. I used to shout in the rally, write on the walls, carry the party flag, used to give slogans as a student. So I was so excited. They have taken us to Little Rock, Arkansas. At the time, election was going on and Bill Clinton was a candidate for the governorship. So I was so excited. So the, the time has come and then we went there. I couldn't find many people. There were only some 500, 600 fellows. Then this man who was our guide, he said, see the rally, how interesting it is. I said, where is the rally? <laughs> he said, this is the rally. I said, uh, this is the rally. I said, even for a municipal by-election in a small place in our town, the crowd will be much bigger than this. They said, Ms. Naidu, people do not come for rallies here. Only This is a big uh, number that way. And it's an indication that Bill Clinton is going to win, he told me. <laughs> so 60,000, 70,000 people in Wembley Stadium, 30,000 people in uh, Madison Square, 30,000 people in Sydney. What is happening? Because now India is being recognized and respected thanks to the leadership of Narendra Modi. Worldwide, the entire world is looking towards India. Whatever the others may say, the entire world, one after another, world leaders are praising, complimenting the Prime Minister. Because Modi means, people feel Modi means 3D. Decisive, dynamic and development oriented, three in one. That is Narendra Modi, that is the impression of the people. Friends, uh, Indian economy has been fairly resilient to the global financial crisis of 2008. Growth momentum was impacted, but recovery has been significant and rapid in comparison to trends witnessed.